Long-term care workforce vaccine hesitancy goes under the microscope in national studies, and feds are giving $103 million to relieve health care workforce burnout. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member today for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. COVID-19 vaccination rates among the long-term care front line will be the focus on two national studies aimed at decreasing hesitancy about receiving the shots and boosting uptake. Dartmouth College and the Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Institute are leading the investigations, which last week were approved for about $11 million in funding by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, PCORI. The most recent data from the CDC shows that about 15 percent of staff in nursing homes had completed their COVID-19 vaccinations as of last week. That's still well shy of the industry's goal of getting 75 percent of staff vaccinated against COVID-19. That target was originally placed on June 30th, but has since had to float. Some groups believe vaccine mandates can help long-term care providers boost uptake among staff, while others have suggested that providers first leverage clinical and community leaders to help with vaccine messaging. Dartmouth researchers plan to recruit about 1,800 direct care staff nationwide and compare multiple new approaches and current efforts to gauge their effectiveness increasing vaccine uptake among the group. The second investigation will recruit 6,000 direct care staff at 30 long-term care facilities in Washington. Washington State and Georgia. Staff will be randomly assigned to receive a full intervention, peer-designed educational materials, or federal information about the vaccine to determine which method is more effective. Quote, assessing approaches for increasing COVID-19 vaccine confidence among long-term care workers is an urgent need, said Nikella L. Cook, MD, Executive Director of PCORI, said in a statement. The Department of Health and Human Services is making approximately $103 million available in federal relief funding to address burnout and promote mental health wellness among healthcare staff. Stress and burnout levels have approached severe levels in long-term care staff throughout the pandemic, an April survey found. The funding was announced Friday by HHS's Health Resources and Services Administration and will be distributed over a three-year period. The money will be directed to three different programs aimed at helping providers implement evidence-based strategies to respond to stressful situations, avoid burnout, and promote mental health and resiliency. Approximately $68 million will be de dedicated to the Health and Public Safety Workforce Resiliency Training Program, about $29 million toward the Promoting Resilience and Mental Health among health professional workforce program and six million dollars toward the health and public safety workforce resiliency technical assistance center quote it is essential that we provide behavioral health resources for our health care providers from paraprofessionals to public safety officers so that they can continue to deliver quality care to our most vulnerable communities hhs secretary xavier becara said in a statement on friday Providers have until August 30th, 2021 to apply for the programs. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.